Hi guys, welcome to back back to my channel. It's Lehman and welcome to the start of, of my first very first video saying hashtag girl dolls gone golf hashtag well witches dolls gone golf witches so today I'm gonna uh, you guys finally get to see my fashion witches so when it came to me I decided to go away from the traditional witch where you have to have a pointy hat you have to have the black dress you have to have the the um, boom so yeah I didn't want that even Monster High went away from it with when they did uh, cast the fears so I was like why can't I go that far and then so I decided to look up witches online for um, video games and I realized these witches are not dressed like that some of them are some of them aren't but I decided to go away from the hat because number one I, I tried to find some hats and stuff uh, but yeah it didn't work so I was like I'm not gonna even hunt for this stuff this is ridiculous I'm just gonna make it my way so I'm gonna introduce you to my four witches so basically if these girls were video game characters they would have their own little story behind them. Now, my first girl I'm going to go ahead and introduce you to is my beautiful and my gorgeous smart doll, which is Kat, in her witchy outfit. Now, these girls are dressed as cosplay witches. So, I was having fun with mine. So, I'm going to show you guys. Ta-da! So, this is my beautiful Kat. She is dressed as the voodoo queen witch. Yay! Hi. So say hey, cat. So I ended up what I ended up doing to her as I basically ended up making her a mantle, which is on her hand. And I decided to go since it's Halloween. I decided to do the black and orange. And I did realize that purple goes with this color as well. And I did that. And oh my God, she came out amazing. I decided to do her traditional, oh, uh, off traditional outfit. So I put a yeah, veil in the back with her little shorts. And she's all fancy and ready to go. Uh, she does have her moon, half moon necklaces and her uh, insignia, which is here. So I decided to go a little bit. I kept the pink in her hair because she does have pink tattoos on. So she can't, I can't remove those. So yeah, they're going to have to stay that way. But other than that, these things are so, I had so much fun doing this guy. This is. This is too much fun. I had fun dressing these for. It took me a long time to dress them. I did get tired a couple of times, but I did. So, but I decided to also, because she's more of a voodoo priestess than she is anything else. So I decided to make her a little staff. So this is her staff. Uh, she's supposed to hold it in her hand, but yeah. So, and she, yes, she does have her boots on, her black boots on, and I went all out with this girl. I was having so much fun. She does have her, her, her power crystal on. I decided, at first I was going to put a crystal on her forehead, but then I decided, instead of have a crystal, since she's more voodoo priestess than anything, go ahead and hang the stars on her forehead. So I ended up doing that with these. I'm sorry, guys. This is much easier to do it like this, yeah. So I ended up putting three stars on there. So, yeah, so I had so much fun making this stuff, turning her into a cosplay video game witch. So, I decided, like I said, I decided to go off tradition for these girls. And as you can see, she came out looking amazing. Love the staff. And if you're wondering, yes, they do have a pet cat. Yeah, I know. Don't ask. Actually, this is her pet cat. <laughs> I'm trying to find her a proper cat, but right now she got a pet, a little tiny pet tiger. I was like, if I ever decide to paint this thing, it'll be so cool. So, yeah. Mm. So, after this girl, that's when I decided to do three more. And I decided to call them the witches, the, the legend of the four witches. So, yeah. That's where the idea came from. So, yay. And if you guys are wondering, yes, she can hold her staff. She can hold herself somewhat. But yeah. The Legend of the Four Witches. So, yes. She is quite 
an interesting little character. I never did give them a name, so I was like, if I ever decide to write a story about them, I will literally give them a name. Oh, and I, you should know I did change out one of her eyes. So her eyes are definitely different. I changed out their, their, her eyes. And this is what I ended up turning her eyes into. So she's got two gray eyes, but one of them have like a reddish glow. And I guess you could say that's her kind of her power. So yeah, but other than that, yeah, she came out looking amazing. And I had so much fun doing her. So this was a fun challenge. I like the funner challenges. I don't really, I, I really didn't get into the pirate one because I don't know how to do pirates. Uh, but yeah. So I actually had fun. And I'm hoping that one day I'd be able to do a horror movie one. I would love to actually do a her, her dressed as a horror movie character. But I need the right kind of outfits for it. So, yeah. So, yay. So, as you can see, that girl is fun. So, my next one is my beautiful um, Evangeline. And Evangeline is actually, she's kind of based on a TV show that I used to watch a long time ago. And I really wish I could find it again, but I haven't seen it in months. I think one, I did see it on Tuba TV one time. There's an app called Tuba TV, guys. If you guys want to find this app, you can find it on both Amazon, and on eBay, and iPad, iTunes stores. And it's called Tuba TV, and they have the all the movies that come on there are free. You don't have to pay anything. And I have the, the only issue is you gotta you gotta deal with the fact that you're gonna get commercials. But yes. So I based her on a character by the name of a Witchblade. But she's known as Witchblade. And uh you guys probably don't remember this show. This show used to come a long, long time ago. It's like in, in the early nineties. It was a good show, but it didn't last very long. I think it lasted about four or five seasons. But then it finally went off and I was like, Oh, it's so sad that most of these shows last like one or two seasons and then it goes off like they did with V when they re revamped V. I'm like, why did you do that? You could have finished it. But yeah, so they didn't finish it. So I'm hoping that one day somebody will have the balls enough to pick up that show again and actually finish it up. Because it was one of my favorite. I used to love watching that show when it came out. But yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty cool. She's pretty cool. And I decided to go th with her when it came to this girl is because when the witch blade played her character, she was a witch, but she fought with weapons, magical weapons. And I gave her a magical weapon, which is the blood sword, yay, as well as a w belt that can become a whip. So she has the ability to control all this stuff. She also has her black diamond on her forehead, as well as her red necklace. So, this girl right here is pretty much, she definitely is my witch blade. So, I absolutely love the way she looks. So, I actually decided to go Amazonian a little bit with her. So, as you can see, she has an Amazon, uh, like an Amazon, dressed like an Amazon. But shorts, and then she has a little, uh, kind of like a little tubey thingy. Half skirt, basically. I ended up giving her a bracelet, and I was having so much fun with designing these girls. So how I decided to design mine, I looked up on the internet and typed in video game witches. And the beauty about these witches, they come in so many ways. Some of them had the traditional hat, but some of them didn't. And the ones that did not have the traditional hat, I liked those. So I decided to go my way and create my own characters, kind of loosely based on them. So, yay, video game witches. So, as you can see, this girl is shining like a diamond. So, our next girl is my beautiful. I decided to go ahead and create Scarlet, a witch character. Now, when it comes to Scarlet, she's more closely to these witches on the video games with the sultry outfits, the sexy body, and everything. So, I kind of went a little bit, I think I went a little bit too on the century side for her. But I'm thinking, hey, with the way she looks, she probably does. Oh, and guys, don't forget that uh, I still have to reveal my Halloween reveal to you guys. And that'll be on the 20th, 31st. I'm sorry, guys. 31st only. As well as a music video that comes 
with it. Now, they, as for these girls, they're going to be in a Halloween hunt costume the whole time. And they will be featured in that video as well. So, yeah. So, that's something you guys need to look forward to. But right now, the videos that's coming out is the one for these girls and these girls alone. Now, the music I chose for these videos are kind of based on the video games a little bit. So, yeah. So, this girl here is my gorgeous and my beautiful Scarlet. And I went a little sultry with her. Too sultry, if you ask me. But she came out looking dapper. Very dapper. Now, I think her character, if you actually knew her character, she probably would be the bad girl of the group. I mean, you, you, you have the tough girl, which is this girl here. She would be the tough girl. But she would be the bad girl. She would be more of the sexually oriented. And you know she, she's more Amazonian. She's like, sex ain't worth nothing. You need to stop. But when it comes down to it, she wouldn't have sex just to have sex. You should basically have the, char the character be more like, uh, if, you're not, if you don't make an eight-figure job, if you don't have an eight-figure job, I don't want to know you. <laughs> so, yeah. So, I kind of had fun with her. I, I think I still think I went a little overboard with her, but I still love the way she came out. Her outfit is uh, well, outrageous. So as you can see, she does have a back thingy or a half skirt. I ended up doing the back pretty good, and she came out good. Now the, the shoes, I decided to mix the shoes up because she's black and purple, so I did a black and purple shoe. And I decided to do the things up her leg and do the wire on her arm. She does have her crystals on her hand as well as on her forehead. And uh, I removed the uh, hair that she originally had, which was driving me up the damn wall, truth be known, guys. It was just pissing me off. I'm sorry. I, it really was driving me up the wall. So I bagged it up and decided, okay, you know what? She's going to have a yarn wig on because I prefer a yarn wig any day. So, in the end, once I put this yarn wig on, I realized, damn, she looks good. <laughs> she, she looks a little too good. She's like, uh, you better have eight. You better bring a million dollars. You better have a credit card that has no limit. Better yet, she's like, don't even have a credit card. Just make sure I can buy whatever I want. <laughs> So, this is what the kind of character she would probably be. A little slut or something like that. Well, she wouldn't be slut. She'll probably find somebody she likes. But the guy won't pay her any attention. And she'll like, she'll be like, okay, you know what? Are you blind? She wouldn't be like sexually activated towards him. She'd be more like, are you blind? Or are you just dumb? But, yeah, that's what her character would be like. But, yeah, I decided to go a little bit out of the way when it came to her but it was worth it in the end because I, I like I said I copied some of the witch witches that I saw on video games so yeah so this girl is styling in her little witch outfit with her little bikini thingy yeah I, I, I no I'm not gonna show you guys her booty because you don't need to see the booty but other than that she came out looking amazing I absolutely love the wig on her and unfortunately for my other doll she's, <coughs> she's keeping the wig <laughs> I do plan on making one for my, my Amazon one here. So, yeah. So, my last and not definitely not least is my younger version of a witch. She would probably be the younger one. Uh, but she would have a good heart. And this is my beautiful Dayana. So, I decided to have fun with my little Miss Dayana. And just deck her out in some beautiful clothes. She does, I, and like I said, when it comes down to it, I did base my characters on a video, somewhat on a video game, but I wanted to go my own way. I didn't want it exactly like the video game. So these girls are cosplaying as themselves, as four beautiful, powerful witches. Now, her power, if you guys want to know the power for each other witches, she would have a bit, bit, the power of sight. Her, unfortunately, her power would be con she would consider her powers a curse because she can see things that she don't want to see. And let, let's just say she sees dead people. Mm -hmm. More like people who are about to die. She can see the coward. So, yeah. But other than that, she is a pretty cool character. She does have her power. She has her hexagram. She, yeah, her pentagram, I'm sorry. 
she does have her hand thingy as well as her her whip and I got that I like I said I got that idea from a video game character I saw she was a witch and she literally had a whip and I thought the whip was so cool I was like oh my god to actually make a whip for my witch for one of my witches because all my others already have their powers but she doesn't have much but she would take more after the Amazon girl so yeah so this is my beautiful Diana. So guys, as you can see, these lo these lovely girls are quite beautiful, and I'm gonna let you see them each one of them one more time. And there is a music video coming out with them in it, so watch out for that. And you guys will get to see them for about 12 minutes. Yeah. So yay. So Scarlett, as lovely as she is. She was very fun to do. She took me the longest. To, I think the longest to figure out what I wanted to dress her. But I think my most favorite one has to be this one. My beautiful voodoo queen. As a, she is as lovely as she wants to be. And I had so much fun in creating her. Part of me was going to make her a new wig. But then I realized this wig is perfect for her. So these girls are going to enjoy Halloween guys I will take many 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 pictures and I will put them up I promise you guys on my channel as well as uh, the other channels and on, on Facebook and you guys get an extra pleasure of seeing the video to the music video I've already taken the music video out and uh, it's about ready to go but I'm working on editing it right now and I had I I've chosen the music actually it's the music they use that I found that I thought is more interesting for these girls than the other ones I've always had but yeah but other than that these girls came out so well guys I had so much fun and thank you Marna and thank you J doll UK as well as dolls rescue Marna thank you guys for giving me the idea because I wasn't even thinking about doing anything for Halloween thanks to you guys I actually had something to do and creating these beautiful girls now the before I go and before I finally end this video I want to let you guys know my doll repaint is coming I'm kind of hoping I can get my hands on that other doll I bought, but I do have a smaller doll that I am going to repaint, and I'm going to try to do the series for you guys. Unfortunately, I couldn't do it this time because I had to wait for this. Yeah, my Mod Podge finally came because <laughs> I ran out of Mod Podge. Can you believe it? I ran out of Mod Podge. Oh, I have been doing a lot of painting. But other than that, that was about all I needed. So until then, guys, and I did get my paint, so I'm ready, ready, ready to go, go, go. So, I will be doing that very soon. So, guys, it is getting ready to turn 17, 18 minutes. It is 18 minutes. I'm sorry. And I got to go because I'm trying to get ready to watch Halloween Kills on my TV. Yeah, that's right, y'all. Halloween Kills. I am back in this movie. I don't care what anybody said. I've already seen the first one. Yeah, I'm trying to watch the second one. So, today is Friday. Yes, 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 yes. We'll be watching it on Halloween. We'll be watching it anytime I want to. So, yay! As well as, I think Horror Stalker Con is coming back, guys. And I hope you guys, since it's October, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. A lovely Halloween. And, guys, watch out for the bumps in the night. And keep an eye out for the ghouls and the goblins. Happy Halloween, guys.